नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल नदर वीडियो ऑफ इंडियन स्टूडेंट इन कैनेडा एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन टॉक अबाउट माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ माई फर्स्ट हाउस एक्चुअली दैट्स माई फर्स्ट हाउस so i purchased this property in 2017 march 1st that was the closing date where i got the keys but so many things happened before that when i was um thinking of making a purchase by a house in canada i my work permit was about to expire like i was in the that um, such like very stressful situation but at the same time i had a really another stressful situation which is the finances because um i'm just about to pay off my student debts that i borrowed for my education and then my family was already in the process of planning my sister's wedding where i need a, a lot of money because my dad didn't had so while going through that financial situation like i was really desperate to make extra money so i started to do some extra jobs like you know food delivery um like uber um i even did uh, this e-commerce like selling products online um i even did like amway mlm company so while i was doing all those things through some process i i learned about real estate um he, here in in canada in north america where i was told that you can buy properties you don't need that much money especially if you are a first time home buyer so that really picked my interest so then i started to look into you know what can you buy in 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 canada in windsor because i'm in windsor uh, ontario uh, if you know where it is um so i i started to search you know how much property prices are what can i do um so i started to read and i actually joined bigger pockets that's a very resourceful uh, website for people who want to learn about real estate and also i i joined some facebook groups um and and local like a local meetup group uh, where real estate people who are into real estate or who are looking to do real estate um they come together once in a month and they talk about it lot of canadians especially they were very very helpful like i joined literally uh, my good friend cassidy started a a group at that time in 2016 actually before i bought my property so i started going attending those events so i was learning about canadian market how this works so in this process i learned i don't need that much money right so like i said and here banks will give you 95% mortgage which means if you want to buy a house this one i got it for 102000 canadian dollars so if you are in india watching this video it's a uh, 50 lakhs but good thing is i don't need all that money from my pocket that means i don't need cash and i didn't had cash <laughs> I, so banks will help you with 95% which means for that 102000 approximately 96000 the the bank was willing to give me but there was a challenge here i didn't had my permanent residency at that time it was in the process so i had to talk to many banks before someone said yes so yes if you're in my situation don't let one person if someone says that you cannot get a mortgage if you talk to one person then go talk to another one so especially if your pr is under process and if you've been working in canada for 2 3 years you have a good credit score most likely you will qualify so that's what i did i went through that process so that helped out um and then you know i was looking at this properties okay the 100000 properties are good you can even buy like 300 400 where you get nice brand new houses at that time in Ca- in windsor um and like older properties this one actually was 105 or 8 years old <laughs> you can imagine 100 years old means how how bad inside and all those things right so it was pretty rough very very rough i'll try to scroll the pictures here so you can visually see so I I was looking at and I'm scared like really scared because I I never did something like this before 
and I was I'm into IT. I have no idea about civil engineering in Canada. I don't know anything about renovations. But what I learned is if you buy a property that you do some improvements like you do some like kitchen update, washroom updates or flooring updates, painting some if you do take this old property and make it look newer then I was told in Canada you will increase the property value that means this one I got it for 102 um, I took like 25,000 from the bank to do some renovations and I did all those things and now bank valuate it for 150,000 so the value of the property will be going up if you force the if you do some renovations to the property so that's how again these things at that point I was just learning right and now I got this property now that means I have to do the practically implement those things so I don't know anything to do now the fun part starts uh, I got some contacts from my friends like I said the Canadian friends whom I was hanging out um, and I had to hire a contractor till then in my life I never hired anyone so that was a freaking challenging situation but with a with a uh, like a, a strong feeling inside like okay all is well everything will go well just stick to your gut feeling and I, I called four or five contractors asked them to give some quotes and finally hired one guy uh, based on my friend's suggestion and again you um, if you are in Canada, you might know how typical it is to deal with these contractors because sometimes they are very slow, sometimes they don't show up, um, sometimes they, they ask for so much money because you don't know anything, they're going to say, oh, I need this, you need this, you need this, you need extra 5,000. I'm like, I'm already running out with money and I ha I'm borrowing money from my line of credit because bank won't give me that money for renovations until I finish the renovations and I have to finish in three months so this was like scary but I was like being humble I was taking coffees to the contractor trying to you know be friendly uh, make sure so that they don't screw me up and you know quit the job at the, in the middle um, so again thank god they finished the project and, and 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 I moved into one unit actually this is like a two unit house it's a it's a called duplex so I moved into one unit one bedroom and rented out the three bedroom one so three bedroom rent was twelve hundred and fifty dollars at that time and that twelve hundred and fifty dollars paid my mortgage my property tax my insurance and some water bills and uh, other uh, expenses because my my property uh, my property price was hundred and 2000 and plus improvements 25 so my mortgage total was like 120 something after my 5% down so literally with 5000 from my pocket 5 to 7000 from my pocket I got this building and guess what I did after one year my wedding was over my sister wedding was over so I got into so much big debt so I decided to sell this property so guess what Thank God my hard work paid off and all the you know my friends help and everyone thanks to everyone I was able to sell this property for 227,000 after all my expenses I made like close to 80,000 Canadian dollars which is like 40 lakhs and this is while I'm working this is while I was like working full time my annual income at that time was 80,000 but from 80,000 government took taxes which is like 30 something 30 percent something so my actual year income in my pocket was close to 50 52,000 but this property made me 80,000 in same year so that's why I quit my job and started real estate um, so in the next video I'm going to talk about the, my real estate uh, story how I got my license and all those things so stay tuned for that till now if you like this content make sure you hit that thumbs up button just to help the channel and leave a comment below how do you like it and um, how are you you know is this helpful for you if you're a student in Canada um, can you is this anything making sense to you so let me know in the comments below I love to hear your feedback love to see that love symbols or thumbs ups or thumbs thumbs down until then 
See check out the other videos. See you in the next video. Thank you. Have a good night.